Hello again. Well, I think I've found the cause of the air leak. And it's this manifold right here. Let me point that out. It's hot. But I think it's right here. What I did, uh, maybe a little prematurely, but I took the carb off. Um, completely disassembled it. You know, it's really quite a simple carb, so uh, it wasn't a big problem and I felt like I wanted to do that anyway. So um, I've got new screws here with uh, locking nuts and um, got some new, new screws. They go all the way through now, so they're a lot better. Um, I also laid the carburetor on a nice flat piece flat surface and there was a little bit of a warp here as well so um, just uh, sandpapered that down you know just ran it over some sandpaper so leveled all that that's good um, went in and looked at the choke the sorry the throttle slide that's all good checked all the gaskets here I've put this jubilee clip or this um, I don't know what they call here these round circular clips clamps just to make sure that this boot was pressed down super tight on here um, also put a little o-ring in here because this was leaking gas um, put a new uh, air screw here and um, just disassemble the carb tightened up some of these uh, pipes here as well so the whole carb setup is good I'll, I'll replace this this is this is looking ugly but um, what I tried as well and, and a recommendation from someone also was to just make sure that I sprayed carb cleaner all over or you know certainly at the joints where this manifold is and here as well while the bike's running just to see if the tone or the idle of the machine changed and it didn't it it didn't change well i never noticed it anyway i i don't think it changed at all so that led me to believe that it was something either inside the carburetor or somewhere else so having said that having reassembled the carb put everything back together you know, oh, I checked the um, the throttle cable as well, just to make sure that there was a little give in the cable, so that it wasn't, uh, you know, always on, so to speak, and that was fine as well. So, started the bike, and of course, the damn thing is just the same as it was, if not worse. So, um, I got the carb cleaner out, and basically just squirted everywhere where I think there was an opportunity to get air into this carburetor. What I didn't do is I didn't look down here. And so I started squirting around here, I guess. That was all fine. This was all fine. And then from the other side, I started squirting here at the bottom of the manifold where it comes off the cylinder head. And immediately the tone starts to change. In fact, it gets faster. I thought for some reason it might get slower, but it actually got faster. So I'm going to start the bike and um, see what you think. It's warm. Uh, I've I've had it started just a few minutes ago, but um, you'll hear the difference in the tone as I squirt around this uh, manifold here, probably from the back. So the ignition's already on, and uh, it might be a little noisy, and, and then I'll go around the other side of the bike and squirt some carb cleaner uh, choke and carb cleaner into this area and you'll hear that the idle uh, increases. So that's it running normal idle. I'm just going to go around the back now and squirt it, see what you think. Quite noticeable, eh? So uh, that's my next job. So of course I'll take this manifold off, back off here, and um, and then down here as well. I might just check the owner's manual first of all because I'm not quite sure how that is affixed to the head. 
and it looks like there's some gasket sealer here. I can't see a gasket, so maybe that's a problem. I'm not sure. Anyway, I'm learning as I go, but uh, at least I think I've pinpointed the cause of the problem. All right, see you guys.